Okay, quickly, everybody, without thinking, I'm gonna give you a scenario and you gotta respond to it quickly. I'm talking like that. Life or death stakes. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Teching101 is a hugely popular anime YouTuber who has been making videos for over 10 years on YouTube. In today's video, I'm gonna be discussing why Teching101 is so great and what makes him such a good YouTuber, both in terms of having entertaining content and in being a huge driving force for good for the genre of anime content on YouTube. Every single video, and I mean every single video Teching makes, he always brings his upbeat and positive personality along with him. I think this helps to highlight the passion that he obviously has for making videos and anime as an art form in general. Even when he's reviewing more niche topics, like his video on the tale of Mont Blanc Noland from One Piece, he maintains this uh, passion and interest in the subject he's talking about. This kind of genuine personality is at least in my opinion a refreshing break from the fake feeling personalities of a lot of more mainstream media personalities. And this leads nicely onto my next point. There is a sort of meme in the teching community that he has the powers of the cringe cringe fruit, which is of course a reference to Del Fruits from the popular anime One Piece. This meme stems from Tekken's one, what, Tekken 101's cliché jokes and a fun but albeit a little over the top antiques like his classic Tekken tumble that can be seen at the start of a few of his videos. This can be further highlighted by Tekken's vlog style content on his second channel where we get a closer look into Tekken's personality and feelings about topics outside of anime. I personally feel as though Tekken's wholesome and fun attitude to content creation is one of the forces that drove me to keep coming back and watching video after video of his. You would think that after literally years of content creation, Tekken's videos would eventually get boring, or his cliché jokes and antiques would become stale. However, at least in my opinion, this hasn't happened. Tekken has managed to continue to make interesting content, and this has been aided by the addition of little inside jokes that really make long-time fans feel noticed. A great example of this is Barry D. Brick, who is the latest mascot of Tekken's channel. Uh, what started as a funny skit from one of his older videos eventually grew into a whole plushie line of Barry D. Brick plushies. Tekken could have just as easily not listened to his subscribers and not made Barry Debrick into a reoccurring character, but instead he decided to add him into every single video. N not only is Barry Debrick in every, in every video now, but he's normally worked into the skits of the videos, which makes it even more hilarious. I I'm going a little off topic, but my point still stands, that by always changing his content in little ways that improve the overall viewer or listener experience, and increases the longevity of his content style since he doesn't feel like it's getting old and the constant addition of new inside jokes keeps both older and newer listeners engaged. In conclusion, what makes Tekken 101 such a great anime YouTuber is his wholesome and 100% genuine personality that creates a fun and inviting space for viewers looking for discussion content or even playthroughs on a few rare occasions like his Pokemon and Yu-Gi-Oh style playthroughs. These attributes combined with this constant improvement of video quality and genuine talent for content creation on YouTube make Tekking, makes Tekking one of the best anime YouTubers to ever Tekken tumble onto the anime YouTube scene. But I, I, I digress. This has been me, thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this, if you want to see more long form discussion type videos uh, like this please leave a like, comment and subscribe, that's all I have time for today, so see ya.